Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today I want to do a video on updating your BIOS. So there's one way you can do it through the MSS, the MSI Live, um, but for whatever reason that's not working right now. Um, I, did, I actually thought I had bricked my motherboard. So what I'm going to do now is show you the other way of doing it to update your BIOS. Uh, and it's going to be pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but I'm going to be very detailed because I don't want you to make a mistake. So do this at your own risk. Okay, so if you may mess it up or you skip a step or something's wrong, don't come back at me. It's your error. Okay, but if you follow the steps, you will be good. Okay, because I'm very careful to make sure I don't break a motherboard because I can't afford to keep buying them. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the website. I'm going to show you what all that is, where to get everything, how to copy it, all that kind of good stuff. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to open up our web browser. Uh, they do mention to use uh, Google Chrome or Firefox. So, I went to msi.com, click on products, go down to where it says motherboards, choose your motherboard. Now, be very careful to choose the right one. If you choose the wrong one, you're going to get the wrong BIOS. And if you try and update the wrong BIOS, it probably will still let you do it, but it will brick your motherboard. So, be very positive you choose the right one. So, in my case, it's the, it's the MPG series of motherboards. I'm going to scroll down here. Mine is going to be the MPG B55 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me to this page. I'm going to click on Support, which will take me directly to the BIOS. All right. So there's a couple different ones here. You have a um, beta version. Okay. They don't recommend using that. They recommend using the one that's more stable. So you want this one. Okay, so let's get all the release dates, 26th of Jan, 2021. So, and you're going to click this arrow right here, and you're going to download it. It's going to download into a zip file. So, I recommend click here, go show in folder. We're going to minimize this right now. And I've done this a few times just to test it. So, when you double click it, take this, and you can open it again, actually. Copy these two folders these two files, right click and copy and put them on your USB drive. Okay, so just copy here. It doesn't matter if there's something else on there. Uh, doesn't seem to bother it. Right click and paste. It'll copy those two files over. Doesn't take very long, a couple seconds. And there, we're done. So the, the file here, you used to have to rename that. If you do an M flash, like a BIOS flash, uh, then you will have to rename this. That's when you do it without CPU in, and you don't have basically anything else in the motherboard. It's a whole different process, so let's not worry about that for now. Basically, this is the file you're going to be using. Let's take this, take our USB out, put it on our motherboard, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here we are. Got my USB stick in here. You can tell because it's lit up. It's in what they call the M flash button. Um, I haven't tried that version by itself. I did, but it didn't work for me. So that's why I'm trying it this way. Um, anyhow, put your USB in there. On the screen here, you can see the M flash. So you have to, of course, boot your computer into the BIOS. So once you're in the BIOS, verify what version of BIOS you've got. So up here, you've got BIOS version E7, C90 AMS.130. Okay, so now you're going to go to mFlash here, click it. Okay, once you click it, it's going to say system will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? You're going to say yes. Okay, so your system's going to shut down, so don't panic. And it will start back up. Up until this point, you haven't done anything yet. Okay, so power to go off, not going to hurt anything. But it really, you haven't done anything, you haven't flashed anything. So this is going to say F1 to run setup, okay, which we want to do. It's going to take us back into our BIOS. Okay, so once you're into your BIOS, you're going to go down here, we'll see it's M flash. Click on that. It says you're going to auto reboot and enter the flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? You're going to say yes. 
Okay, so wait for it to reboot. It'll come up, and then we're going to be able to choose the BIOS file. So we'll show you that here in just a second. There we go. It says enter flash mode. Okay, so our staples relay, that's the uh, staples drive that I've got for the... Now it's only showing you your currently selected one. So when you click on the new one, which is this one right here, okay, and you see the name, okay, it's going to come up. That's the file. That's the new one. And it's asking you, are you sure that that's the file you want to select? So if you're sure, click yes. And it's going to show up on the bottom now. And now it's going to start updating your BIOS. So it's going to take a little bit, so just be patient. It's at this point in the game that you really don't want your power to go out. Because that would be costly. And there's always a risk if you do the wrong one, you're going to have a problem. That's why I say go in and make sure you select the right motherboard. Select the right BIOS. Because if you select the wrong one, game over. Go buy another motherboard. Now, there is a possibility, however remote and very slight, to recover that. Um, but it's highly unlikely, actually. I've actually done it, though. I actually did it. I actually recovered my brick motherboard, which surprised the heck out of me. But it was just a very simple little thing that I did, and it worked. And uh, I really didn't think it was going to, so anyhow... Um, I'll pause this. Well, I'm going to pause it. I'll keep it here, but I'll speed through it so you can watch the process later on. The first time doing it this way, by the way. Um, I've done it through MSI Live, but like I say, it didn't work, which uh, means that it's no longer something I want to rely on. So I'm relying on something that's a little bit more stable and known to work properly. Not saying the other one won't work, it's just there can be issues. Okay, so we're at 93%, so we're very nearly done. And what will happen is your system will reboot and should come up to the BIOS, I do believe, again. And uh, we'll be able to see uh, the new version on there. So that should happen pretty quickly now. This whole thing, I did pause it, but it's taken a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. I think it's been pretty close to uh, about seven, eight, maybe nine minutes even. So here we go, it's rebooting. Okay, so there was quite a long pause in there, but at least I can see it is going to the BIOS, okay? My heart kind of stopped in my throat there for a second, so if that happens to you, don't panic. It's normal. So we're booting into our system. Okay, so it just went right into the system. Now it's automatically gone in for whatever reason and it's starting Dragon Center, which not really sure why it's doing that. So we're going to reboot and go directly to our BIOS. There's a couple of different ways to do that. I'll come back once I've got that into the BIOS screen. Okay, so we're in our BIOS and up here now we can see our new version. Okay, dot one six one as of the 26th of Feb 2021. So successful. And whether there's any differences or anything like that, um, not likely. I mean, I don't know what they are. You have to look it up. Uh, they will tell you online what that corrects. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, so basically that's how we update our BIOS. Uh, for an MSI motherboard specifically, uh, but I believe it works same principle for some of the other ones, but don't hold me to that because I haven't done the other ones. So this is for the MSI BIOS update using the M flash uh, button on your computer. Um, and that's it. So go into the AMD website, download uh, the BIOS to your USB stick, take it out, put it to your motherboard that you want to update. Make sure you've got the right one. Okay, so don't choose the wrong one because if you try and flash it, it'll still work but you'll have the wrong BIOS and you're done. Nothing's going to work. You're, you basically bricked your motherboard. Whether you can recover from that or not, really, I'm going to say no, but I have. But mine was probably more a fluke than anything else. 
and I don't even know if I know how to repeat it. So anyhow, I kind of do, but anyhow, I hope you like it. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for future notifications. And this is kind of a complex thing made easy, I hope. Um, but if you have any questions, fire the questions at me. I have done a lot of this in different roundabout ways and for different systems. So I do have quite a few answers. Hopefully I can answer yours. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. If I can't, maybe I'll do a video for your Pacific, your case, whatever your question is going to be in a future video. So that's always an idea. If you have suggestions for a video you want to see, something you've been dealing with and haven't been able to fix, throw it my way. I like to delve into things others haven't been able to fix. It's always been my thing. Um, so don't hesitate. To ask me a question nobody else has been able to fix. Don't ask me in the comments because I'm probably not going to be able to tell you um, in the comments because it's just too complex to do, but it's easier to put in the video because you can talk, you can express things a little differently. Um, but in the comments, it's, it's nearly impossible to answer some questions in the comments because um, taken the wrong way, it can really cause a lot of problems. But having said that, this procedure, if you have any questions on it, send them my way. I look forward to uh, hearing from you. And until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.